Hi, I am Dr. Sara Shahid and I am a Mededia intern. And today I am going to talk to you about my experience of studying and preparing for Step 2 CK. This video is made under the mentorship of Dr. Umar Tariq. So let's begin. So, factors for success. So before you start studying for Step 2 CK, it's very important for you to recognize all the factors that are going to help you achieve a higher score. Uh, in my opinion, these are the ones that are going to ensure a really high score for you. Proper guidance, proper and focused resources, support from a study partner, persistence, goal-oriented, and a very meticulous time timetable. So a uh, proper guidance and resources. So before you start preparing, it's re really important that you gather all the information from your seniors and from your mentors. Um, because there are a lot of resources that are available. So it's really important that you get some information from your seniors who have gone through the process uh, before and they know exactly what resources were valuable to them, what were high yield and what were Low, lower yield. So it's really important that you make use of your time and make it most productive. So it's really important that you get all the information before you start preparing. And a study partner. So um, it's not mandatory for everyone to have a study partner, but I think that it helps because it's really important for you to share your progress with someone else and you can discuss different questions and you know it's really uh, helpful in that case so it's very vital that you are persistent once you've start started preparing for step 2 and that there is no gap in your preparation um, there will be days when you have reduced motivation to study and you're feeling a burnout but overall you should stay cons consistent Now I'm going to talk about the study materials that I found very high yield and that I used for my preparation. Um, the basis of step two CK is always going to be step one. So um, I found it very helpful to keep uh, step one first aid and the step one notes that I had made. Because uh, step two basically builds up on step one and it's like an extension of it so um, it's very important that you uh, keep your step one first aid and also your notes uh, because you're going to use them while you're preparing for step two the most important resource that i found for step two was u world uh, even more than the first aid so um, I'm going to discuss further in detail uh, why I thought that UWorld was uh, so high yield, and I'm going to uh, discuss more on that. But um, these are the basic resources that I used for step two. Uh, then, of course, like for some topics like ethics, uh, there were some other resources and materials that I used, and you also do the NBME exams before you prepare for the final exam. So now I'm going to talk about how you should use Jew World when you're preparing for step two. So I think that it's uh, really helpful if you do the questions on a mixed board. Uh, you should focus on the explanations and do not take U World as an assessment, but as a preparation tool. So why I think that mixed mode is better? Uh, the reason is that I think it's a very good example of the actual exam. Also, if you're doing uh, the questions system-wise, then uh, for example, if you're doing the cardio uh, system first, so if that's where you start from, by the time you're done with the preparation of step two, your cardio system is going to be your weakest system. But when you're doing uh, questions on a mixed mode, all the questions um, get repeated and all the systems are included in a block. 
so you uh, don't have a particular system that you're very weak on um, also uh, the self-assessment is honest since the answers are not obvious based on the system like if you're doing um, the uh, cardio system questions then automatically you're bound to uh, choose all the cardio options uh, in the uh, options that are given so it kind of skews your uh, self-assessment as well so I, that's why i believe that mixed mode is a better option so focus on explanations so when you're doing your world use it as a preparation tool rather than it being an assessment tool um, because when you're doing your world you're basically preparing for the exam you can use the NBMEs as a form of assessment but do not think of your world as an assessment tool when you're doing a uh, view world it's uh, important for you to figure out why uh, your answer is right or wrong uh, even for the right questions, it is important for you to read through the whole explanations and find out why all the wrong choices are wrong. Um, I thought it was really helpful to make some notes and highlight uh, on the UWorld. And I would recommend doing UWorld twice. I did uh, UWorld only once because of time constraints, but uh, I found it really helpful to save all the diagrams and tables and uh, in UWorld, and then I reviewed them later on uh, towards the end of my preparation. Uh, these are some of the low yield resources like Kaplan and step two first aid uh, in my opinion is not as good as step one first aid so i actually put step one first aid along with you world and i uh, used to uh, go through step one first aid uh, and the notes that i made for step one and i found those very helpful uh, for answering many of the questions in step two as well So these are some general tips that I would like to give to everyone who is preparing for step two. Number one is timeline. So keep a goal of doing a certain number of questions every day so that you stay on track. Uh, I think it's uh, reasonable to do one block every day. Um, that should be your goal. Uh, then number two, do not focus on super mastery of one topic. So if you are um, doing a particular topic, don't uh, spend an enormous amount of time on just one topic. Uh, the final preparation should not be spread over a very long time. It's important that you cover more in less time. I think that is the key for studying for step one and step two. So the last day before the exam, uh, I suggest that you can look at the tables and the diagrams that you have saved from your world, and you can review the difficult concepts or uh, topics that you find really hard. Uh, the day before the exam, do not stress yourself. The purpose of that day should be to relax yourself. Do not try to learn everything on that last day before exam. It's not really going to help you because you have already uh, invested the time and your energy in preparing for it. The last day should not be used as um, a preparation day. It should be used to uh, rest yourself, relax yourself, have a good night's sleep. These are the things that are going to help you on the exam day. On the exam day, uh, be confident in your preparation. Uh, the mindset that you're going to go in the exam with is really going to affect your score. So be confident, be relaxed. Um, I think that it's important you take some source of uh, caffeine and some snacks with you, something high energy like dates. Uh, I think they're useful. Um, and between each block, try to take some break. 
because it helps you reset your mind and re and you refocus. Uh, if you do two blocks together, that becomes really difficult. Uh, while you're doing a block, if you find a question that you're stuck on, do not dwell on that question. You can mark it and you can move on to the rest of the block and then you can come back uh, to the marked question if you have time in the end. But do not spend your uh, entire time on just one question. And that's the end. So after your exam, you should enjoy. Thank you so much and take care.